Hello, today I welcome you to Marlboro watches and in this video I thought I might share my initial impressions on the three watches that I got in the mail today. I got two digital watches from SKMEI and one from Pagani Design. I didn't write any script for this video so it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be harder for me for sure. But yeah, I looked at these watches before this video started rolling. I did look at them but I didn't really like examine them and stuff so we're going to see together. First watch is this SKMEI 1629 which is an obvious homage to the Casio DW5600 but it has a little bit more features. It has also a step tracker, a calorie um, you know counter, um, also you get notifications on the watch itself and you get a message to your phone from I believe 10 different apps like WhatsApp and and a lot of different ones as you can see this is a this is an instructions manual which tells you everything about it I will of course uh, show everything about this watch in the upcoming videos um, I'm gonna make a separate video about this watch obviously it's really big actually I didn't really think it's gonna be this big but I believe it's 50 or even 52 millimeters in diameter um, I'm going to show you how it looks on my 7-inch wrist. It looks like a square Ben 10 watch, really big. Looks very funny, actually. Um, so, yeah. This is how it looks on my 7-inch wrist. As you can see, it takes up almost my whole wrist. So, it, it looks even... I'm, I'm a big guy and it looks weird on me, actually. I, I, I put it on and... Um, yeah, it looks weird, but overall it has a lot of a lot of functions and it has as you can see 50 meters of water resistance But I bought it for I believe like 10 or 9 euros. So In dollars, I don't even know how much it's like 12 13 dollars Which was extremely cheap and if all of the functions actually work, that's a pretty good watch But yeah, it's pretty big then this one. This one actually I bought because I wanted to compare um, this SKMEI to my GA7900 G-Shock, which I have right here. Let me get it. As you can see, they are very similar. Very, very similar. Um, but I actually was surprised. It has all of the protectors and stuff, uh, like this one. I took it off uh, on this one. But... Yeah, they are very similar. Um, of course, this is uh, way worse. Uh, it doesn't have all of the functions and the durability that the G-Shock does, but I was actually very impressed. The pattern on the material is actually not half bad. The band is quite soft, not as soft as the G-Shock one, of course, but overall it's made pretty well. I, I didn't actually expect that. And of course, the G-Shock has like two stopwatches, the tide and moon indicators and stuff, world time. This one only has time, stopwatch and an alarm like the F91W does. So not an awful lot of functions, but I think it's going to be interesting comparing them to. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. This is how it looks on my 7-inch wrist again. I mean, it's, it doesn't look half bad. I thought it's going to be like hard plastic and I wouldn't be able to wear it, but it actually does look and feel quite good on wrist. I, I, I can see myself wearing this one out and about, you know, maybe to the gym or, or somewhere else. But yeah, it looks rather nice. It, it's so, it has a sort of a almost denim pattern. I'm not entirely sure how to call it, but it's like a denim like a dark denim so yeah this is the i'm not i don't even remember this is the skmei 1633 so yeah looks rather good so now we come to the last watch of course the pagani design but this time i don't really like the packaging because it's you know as you can see they stuff a bunch of unnecessary things inside the box as you can see this is what is this do I need it for the watch? No, I don't I don't know what this is, so I can't really tell. Then you got a bunch of stuff for your phone, like this 
keychain thingy that you can, I believe, touch your phone with. Then this ruby, um, red ruby. Again, no idea what this is, it is for. Um, then I believe this fish thing is for your headphones. Um, yeah, and this is for your SIM card, I believe. So why, why would you need these things with your watch? I have no idea. Then there's a 24 karat gold sticker. Um, again, why? It's definitely not 24 karat gold. They wouldn't put it in this package, but yeah, I don't know again, why is it for? What is it for, not why? Um, then this Pagani design cloth, which is actually very nice. The material and overall looks, it looks very good. Yeah, feels nice. Then you get a warranty card, pretty nice. And then the user's manual, which you don't really need if you're buying this watch, you know what you're doing. So yeah, this is the instructions manual. And then of course, this screwdriver for your sizing of the bracelet. I will need this cloth in order to not scratch this watch because it has a lot of polished sides and stuff and you know I don't want to scratch it in any way okay so we got a sticker off of the clasp and now we can see the action which is a little bit hard of course we just got the watch out but Okay, right off the bat, let's see how it looks on my wrist. Now I can put it on my wrist. Okay, what the hell happened? All right. There we go. We got it on my wrist. 40 millimeters, of course, looks, looks very good. Um, 40 millimeters is probably the most perfect size for the watch in my case. Yeah, seven inch wrist looks rather good let's take off the rest of the stickers all right let's see the finishes which are very actually similar to the parnis uh, that i have the daytona homage the polishing could be better but it's actually quite nice yeah screw and links as you can see solid end links um, yeah, pretty nice. The polishing on the other uh, part of the bracelet is also quite good, as you can see. The strap action, the, the buckle action, not the strap action, uh, could be better. Uh, the buckle itself is it's not that good, to be honest. It's really actually hard to open. All right, nice, we got, no, we didn't get all of the stickers. We also got a sticker saying that it is a sapphire, but it's actually weird because it says, wait a minute, it says saf here, not sapphire. It's, wait, let me focus. Let's, let's watch this. You might see it, it says sap. Sap here, not sapphire, which is weird and funny. So there we go. Actually, let me take off that sticker. All right, I do believe that is it for the stickers. Now the watch itself actually looks very good. I heard pretty much in every single review, uh, people say that the bracelet is quite crappy and it is it is it definitely is but I think for um, I don't know even how much I paid for it but it's it was very affordable so you can accept accept that you know the bracelet won't be as good the bezel action let's see the bezel action the clicks are quite crisp there is a lot of back and forth 
yeah. Yeah, the bezel action is not the best. It goes back and forth a lot. But overall, the clicks are crisp and yeah, I quite like it. It's actually a ceramic bezel, not a, uh, not a aluminum, like on the Duro, for example. It also has a screw down crown, so we can just unscrew that. Quite nice, okay. The hand winding is quite nice. Let me pull that. We can now set the date, which the setting is also quite nice. Okay, and the Cyclops is also not that bad. I thought it, would go, it, it was going to be, um, you know, off a lot, but no, it actually looks rather good. Okay, and then the third position should hack the seconds hand. And now let's go 24 hours and let's see the date changes, everything changes and it's quite good. Okay, so everything's fine. Everything works how it should. This is the Seiko SNK, oh, sorry, this is the Seiko uh, MH35A movement inside with hacking and hand winding pretty good i like it i like it i'm gonna size it later and yeah it's a nice watch i will do a video on it and i might even be able to compare it to the invicta pro diver which would be very interesting so subscribe if you have not already subscribed and yeah stay stay tuned so as you can see, this video was a little bit different. I didn't write any script for my videos, which was a little bit hard and different at the same time and also pretty cool. So if you like this sort of format, please let me know in the comments down below. I quite liked it. And uh, yeah, this, is, this was the initial impressions video uh, of these three watches. You can expect the reviews in about two, two to three weeks, I hope. Um, yeah, and now thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like and also consider subscribing and hitting that little bell so you'll get notified when I upload a new video. And now thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.